All right, so um, let's take the relative item and do one more uh, version, right? And in this case, I'm going to actually open the previous file, the flip, where I ended with two sets of curves. I'm going to save this as a new file. This is going to be my relative items. We'll give you access to all the working files as well as the videos after the completion of the webinar. Um, so I'm just going to actually delete those lines. And here I have the original points and the offset points. So let's go back to that same sets tree tab and go to relative items. This allows us to specify in a similar fashion the relationship between objects in two data trees. So I'm going to graph both points as both sets of points as we did. So here's points X, Y, Z, and here's the offset points. If I plug those into A and B, I now have two versions of my data tree. And I can specify similar offset combos to, um, to the O input here. So I'll go ahead and drop in a panel. Now, before I do so, before I do, did anyone catch that I missed the step? In terms of ease of use of using the offset, what else might we want to do to our data structure before we do the relative items? Anybody? You got it. Simplify. So let's go to sets tree, simplify, simplify both inputs, connect them to A and B. All right, so now I've got the kind of more easy um, way of navigating through this just by these A and B uh, index values for my paths. All right, so let's go into our panel. And this is going to be, let's say, first, we're going to take 0 and 1. Connect that to O. Create a line segment between A and B. That's going to operate a little bit differently, right? Because it's actually going to do the original item and the offset in the other list, right? So you can go from 0, 0, we'll call it. The offset would be 0, 1, but it's coming from the other list. Right? So now, or the other tree. So now the offsets, you can see it maybe a little bit better like this. The offset is the one that takes the second point out of B. Right? So you can just start um, walking through uh, this set of um, points, and we'll just make a little sequence. What if we say, I want first, I want to make no offset, so 0, 0. Then I want to go an offset of 0 and 1 up to the next level. Then I want to do an offset of 1, 1 to get to the next level over here. I hit OK. Now I'm going to get, if I just do a line segment, the combination of all of those uh, values. But I could also say I want to take the, all the Bs, and that's going to give me a new triangle or a new piece of geometry if I use just this to define, let's say, a polyline. So if I go to um, curve spline, polyline, and I use that offset combo to use just B. I'll specify true for my close on my object. Now that gives me all of the triangles that are here at the top level. If I wanted all the same triangles at the A level, I could use the object there, A. 
should actually have to be the relative item object, not the relative item objects. So this is a way to relate two data trees um, across using an offset. Relative item allows us to relate one data tree within itself. All right, so relative item in comparison, you take in the lower level and use the same offsets. Out of B, we have the original. All right, so relative item and relative items allow us to um, move through a data structure or two data structures based on a relationship of the indices. All right, so um, that's going to end all of the guided exercises for the webinar. Um, we're going to take questions now for uh, 20 minutes, and then we'll just uh, wrap with a little conclusion.